Hey YouTubians, it's Tony here from We Try Anything channel. I just try anything so you don't have to. What we're going to take a look at today, we're going to take a look at another watch from the Casio range, and that one being the Casio W211, as you can see here. Now this Casio has a module number of 3091, and with that in mind, what I have popped in the uh, link below uh, links below in the description box I have popped the instructions to this if you wish to find out further if you you know if you've got this watch if you like to know how to operate this watch or the features that this watch does have that I haven't discussed in this video so kicking off the video with the hands-on approach that I do have and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just look around the actual watch talk about the materials and the design and what's um, you know features on the actual watch face I am then gonna show you some of the features that this watch has and then uh, you know like by going through the modes and what have you and any kind of adjustments but it won't be in depth because I'm sure that there's other reviews on YouTube that will explain how to do in depth plus as I said I have in, uh, linked the instructions below and also what I'm then gonna do is I'm gonna pop it on my wrist and show you what it's like now kicking off the review this watch it is a deceptively small watch and the reason why I say this I mean like small as in it's more ideal for a kind of like a junior or a child really and the reason why I say this where I bought it from which was eBay and this is available uh, you can get other kind of examples of this on eBay as well as I believe you can get this on Amazon um, from the time of recording that of this which I'll link to below um, it is a watch that's 37 millimeters wide and as I said in the photos this look quite big you know like in comparison to the actual display and what have you and I did think well I was expecting like a, a you know generous size watch and obviously when it turned up it is quite small so just bear that in mind and I have read some of the reviews on this watch on Amazon and a few people have commented on the size of this watch thinking that they were getting a watch of a certain size but it was a lot smaller than expected but they were still happy with it so you know there you go but as I said it's got a 37 millimeter um, resin case with a it's got a metallic chrome effect bezel to it and obviously um, to that extent it's got like a like a dulled um, you know top part where the actual uh, list you know where it lists the actual functions or what the pushers the plastic pushers do actually do um, it has a case thickness of 12 millimeters and that is a domed resin glass and please be aware with it being a resin glass um, acrylic resin glass that this is prone to scratches so I mean I have used polywatch just to get off any scratches that this watch had but it didn't have many in fairness but it is prone to them scratches so bear that in mind and um, going from the 12 millimeter case thickness the actual blue resin straps which are you know they're quite nice and thick they're not thin toy like kind of straps there it's quite nice it is an 18 millimeter um, resin blue band with a black buckle to it so there you go quite nice um, the actual watch as I've probably said it weighs about 31 grams so it's not heavy by any stretch of the imagination imagination uh, on the reverse you do have the usual stainless steel affair that you get with Casio um, and obviously as you can see they've got the module number and the watch number and it is stainless steel as I've said and water resistance is to 50 meters or 5 bar now this is a quartz movement watch and it is made in China so just um, it doesn't state that it's Japanese quartz movement so it's just general quartz the actual watch face is quite a nice clear watch face there's nothing too complicated going on with this watch now in terms of uh, just what goes on you've got the actual day here the day of the week uh, you've got the month in the year and obviously you've got the date within that month and you've got you know a p.m. or 24 hour which you can um, swap, swap between as easily as pressing that 24 hour button and it does have another function which I'll mention later um, and obviously you've got your hour minute and second here and also you've just got a little indication of the seconds going up and down really so which is something you know just to add to the little design of the actual watch to adjust the time and what have you just keep your finger on that and it's as easy as that and then obviously you can cycle through the adjustments that you wish to make by pressing that to go up the minutes to change like dates minutes seconds etc like that so it's the usual kind of Casio affair when it comes to adjusting dates and stuff like that and then you just press it just again just to stop it you do have a light function here which I'll show in a little clip going on here for the one second interval and the reason why I say one second interval I mean you can probably see it there um, the reason why I say one second interval if you keep your finger on this button here you do have three second intervals as well where the watch will illuminate for three seconds so it has that display um, again I'll just quickly show you what that's like 
Um, so it's as easy as that. And then obviously you press the 24 hour button again, just to go back to one second um, this, uh, delay on the actual light. And you know, it is quite quite handy with that. So, because obviously some Casios, you just press the pusher and obviously the light will illuminate as long as the push is pressed. But with the delay function, you can just press it and it's quickly learn the time, date, etc., or whatever function you're on. So just quickly going through the modes, which is why I was gonna, uh, just moving on. Um, so obviously the mode wise, you have an alarm. Um, you have a, an alarm with an hourly signal and a daily alarm going on here, which I believe you can, so you can activate the alarm going on there. So 12 o'clock every day, this will go off, uh, sorry, in the morning. You also have a, a signal which will uh, go off every hour. So just to just to kind of indicate when the next hour started. Um, and then you can have both going on there. And also, obviously, you can turn them off. Now, obviously, adjusting an alarm is very easy. You just press the button, um, the adjust button there, and just cycle through to whatever time you want it to set it on. And obviously, you just press that, um, the mode button there just to cycle through the save if you wanted to change the minutes on that alarm and obviously as soon as you press um the adjust button obviously it'll activate the little alarm feature going on there so if you if you don't want it on during the weekend just make sure you just turn it off by you know obviously just again cycling through the alarm on and off procedure so it's as easy as that really and obviously what i like about this watch as well even though you know it is a small watch with a not, not quite a generous display you do feature the actual main time in that window as well so you know you do you can always see the time in what you're doing when you're adjust, you know like when you're going through the stopwatch and what have you talking a stopwatch that's what comes up next on this watch and this watch stopwatch features elapsed times and it will measure in a hundredth of a second and it does split times and also mentions that it on the Casio website when I was kind of reviewing this watch uh, or kind of um, researching this watch a little um, it will do split times with two finishes and it does go up to 23 hours and 59 minutes so you know it's quite for a little watch it does have a, a nice little feature like the stopwatch if you are kind of into health or fitness or you need something just to measure the time and what you're doing like cooking and what have you so it's easily operated so you just press on that i believe you can just press that to get your split lap times and then turn it off and then if you follow the instructions i've listed two below it will show you how to get um split times with two finishes so it's as easy as that really so just press that to stop it and let's press that to reset it not a problem the other thing this watch also handily features is dual time. Now it's not like, as I've said in the past with other Casios where you can go and search between, you know, um, times for New York and stuff like that by pressing the pushes uh, when you're on the dual time feature. This one you have to set yourself. So the same, you know, if you look at a, um, a time zone that you are either, you know, communicating or talking to loved ones with or doing business with, with people in that certain time zone, then it's as easy as just pressing the adjust button and like the alarm and like the um, adjustment of the time, then you just press that to change the time. And then what that will allow you to do, as I said, you can work out that, for example, I've set this to, I believe is New York. And obviously I believe they're five hours behind as well in New York. And what I've done is obviously just set that up for 8.58 in the morning. So it doesn't correlate with the actual main time. So be aware of that fact. It, it's something you have to set yourself. And then on that, what you've got is it goes back to the main time. So that's really it. I mean, it is quite a nice little feature packed watch. Uh, the display is not too small, but what I'll do, I'll just quickly show you what it's like against a couple of other watches, just to give you an idea of the size of this um, Casio W2111. So for example, this is the F91W. So you can see, I mean, if I pop that over there, it is about the same size as this watch, uh, the F91W. So you know, it gives you an indicator that it is quite a small watch. And as I say, it's more suitable for, you know, juniors, ladies as such. I mean, obviously it's a men's watch or sold as a unisex watch. So if you do want to wear something like that, then, you know, please go ahead. But just to make you aware, it is quite a small-ish watch. Uh, again, against a um, slightly bigger one, which is the W86 going on here. All of these are reviews on my channel. And it is just, this one is slightly, just very slightly bigger than, um, the other one really and then finally the AEQ 110 um, which I'm just trying to just yeah AEQ 110 and as you can see you know obviously it is a big watch in comparison but just to show you how this watch differs to some of the other watches and I would say it's more along the lines of the F91W if you if you you know if, if you're not really into small watches then 
this might not be the watch for you, but I just thought I'd show you that little feature. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pop it on my wrist and then just to show you what it's like to wear and just talk about how, what it's like on the wrist. Right then, so this is on the wrist really, and out of the watches that I have featured on this channel, it is quite a small watch in comparison to some of the other ones I've worn. Obviously with the W86 being one of my favorites, I mean that is, it's about the, I mean that is just slightly bigger than this watch in terms of the actual case, just very slightly. But you know, it is, it did come as a bit of a shock when I, you know, got it from eBay and it turned up that it is a slightly smaller watch than what you would imagine. So just bear that in mind, but on the wrist, you know, comfortable, light, you know, hoodie test as it were, it doesn't get in the way really. I mean, no, it doesn't get in the way. You do feel the strap though, because the strap's not as, forgi as forgiving as it is on some of the other watches. So just bear that in mind. But again, you know, this watch would probably suit a, a younger person really, as in, you know, someone who's just kind of just bought his first, or someone who's looking to buy his first watch or her, um, he or she really, uh, you know, like for a teenager or um, I don't know, some maybe a bit younger than that. But it is also suitable for like a smaller wrist because it obviously, you know, the look to look, um, it's not that big really. So you know, if if you is if you don't you don't mind wearing a smaller watch, then this may be the watch for you. And plus, with all the features that it's got, alarm functions and stuff, um, stopwatches, dual time, one second, three second delay on the illumination of the LED black backlight, then you know, it is quite a nice watch for what you can pay for and you know in terms of you know how it looks on the wrist you know it's not bad but for me it's just a touch too small but again as I said it's probably more suitable for juniors maybe ladies who like a smaller watch or even gentlemen who want something that little bit smaller that just doesn't kind of massively over dominate the wrist well I hope you like the review of the Casio 211 or 211 and if you did then please give it a thumbs up it always helps the channel and um, if you want to subscribe for more view reviews coming soon then please click on the subscription button below um, and also thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you next time goodbye